You defend her here with Clovis North standout, uh, Connor Lott. Uh, really fantastic finish in the second boys varsity race. We're at the San Francisco Lowell Invitational at Golden Gate Park, uh, one of the annual traditions uh, for the great Broncos program uh, uh, to be able to come up here uh, to San Francisco. Connor, obviously, you know, there's been great indications to your performance at, you know, Fleet Feet Summer Sizzle, you know, but obviously, you know, to run a longer course today. We're still not at a full 5K yet, but we'll get there. We've gone from two miles now to like about 2.78. Uh, but the fact that you, that you were tested today by Miles Cook from you know, Sacred Heart uh, Cathedral Prep and responded uh, uh, so well in that, in that last stretch, like, you know, obviously that's something that you can't create all the time in practice. So how meaningful was that for you to be challenged like that and find that extra gear at the end? Honestly, it was, I was, um, Incredibly, incredibly difficult. He made a really, really hard race. He pushed it the whole way. So, you know, um, you know, really trying to make that move was tough. I made a move around 400 and tried to get around him, and he made a really strong move, and I matched it. Uh, I didn't really match it. Drop, drop back slightly. Then 200 to go. I made another move. He matched it, and I made one more move. And you know, to be to be able to do that honestly it was really tough but it's a great um, start I think for you know three mile racing so most I'm definitely. really excited most definitely obviously you see it all, all the time when you're around you know the Buchanan guys you know, uh, the, uh, the Clovis East guys even, you know maybe even in an invitational you know like the Matilda Torres guys uh, but how, how good is it just to you know uh, to kind of because I mean obviously coach Lena is going to have you and the group as prepared as possible but like you, you don't have the same you know just basic knowledge and understanding of all the, all the guys up here you know in the, in the San Francisco area in the North Coast section like you might see them once at Clovis another time at the state and that's it so just the, the, just trusting in your training right just trusting in the best version of Connor Lott because you know what the strengths are of all the guys you know in, in TRAC and in the valley like you may not always know that when you when you come up here but just knowing that the best version of yourself it, you know is good enough to be able to withstand like you said not one move not two move but three moves like how important how important is that how uplifting is that for you oh, honestly um I'm, I think it's, um, it makes, it, it, I guess it is really uplifting for me. I mean, you know, last year I, I had a good end of the season, but it was really kind of a tough season. And I think starting out strong this season, like with Summer Sizzle and then this race, you know, having a really tough race with Miles Cook, honestly, great, great race, really great competitor. Um, you know, racing with, uh, racing with these guys and having a great start. I think it's the only greater indication of how I can end up the season. So I'm, I'm really excited, really, really excited. You've had the blessing throughout your career of not only being around great teammates, but you know, but a, a lot of you know, really awesome training partners and leaders, mm -hmm. right? Obviously, this Clovis North group is going to continue to form its identity and create its chemistry and camaraderie as the season uh, uh, goes along. How excited are you about that challenge, right? Because a lot of people look and like, Clovis East had, you know, that, you know, memorable performance at Valley last year. People know who's back from Buchanan. And I feel like once again, everybody's overlooking Connor Lott and Clovis North. Like, is, is that, I mean, again, you can only control being the best version of yourself. You and your team can only control being the best version of themselves. But like, is that, is that something that excites you that maybe everybody's paying attention, you know, to, uh, to, you know, to other schools in CUSD and, uh, and you guys can just kind of just, you know, do your own thing and just uh -huh. be the best version of yourself come November? Yeah. Um, you know, I see, I see lots about Buchanan. I've seen all over, you know, social media and stuff. And Clovis East, they're great teams, honestly. I do see why they are. And honestly, I've spent two years of my career so far as an underdog, as an under-the-radar kind of guy, and I'm very comfortable with it. And I think with my team, you know, we're going we're gonna to really surprise some people. We really will. Um, you know, we, we really have some great guys, some great freshmen, some great, um, some great juniors, really some outstanding talent and we're gonna surprise some people so you know it some people will see it as a challenge I think everyone on my team's comfortable and we're ready to show them who we are awesome Connor last thing just in, if you kind of can identify where you feel like you're at not only in fitness but just in belief and you know and uh, and just co confidence now in comparison to uh, to you know being up here l last year or being at you know, Fleet Feet last year or you know, two years ago or whatever, like, uh, just, what are you feeling most encouraged about? What are you feeling most optimistic about right now? Um, I have to say probably, um, I think, I think maybe my chances of making it to nationals is one of my big goals, um, is making it to NXN or Foot Locker, one of those two this year, um, making it to one of those, I, I feel, I feel pretty, um, feel really confident about it, so, um, yeah.
Awesome, man. Well, you certainly showcased it, whether it's uh, closer to home at Woodward Park or up here at Golden Gate Park. I uh, can't wait to uh, see uh, how the journey continues to unfold for Connor Lott and the Clovis North Broncos. Big step today, 1344, uh, fastest time overall the entire day uh, at the San Francisco Lowell Invitational. Stay healthy, best of luck going forward. Yeah, thank you.